This is Jack from Teaching ESL Online. Now, today I'm going to talk about landing pages and I'm going to give you five tips so that you can create more effective landing pages. Now, if you don't know what a landing page is, this is simply a page where you have a call to action and people take action on this page. Uh, so let's just say you are posting a new video on YouTube and you want people to go to your website. Well, instead of just sending them to your homepage, you can send them to a specific page where they can take action. Action like buying something from you, signing up for a service or a free consultation, downloading something for free, or simply just joining your email list. So there are lots of different actions people can take. The, the two main ones that I have are to download my book, The Five-Step Plan for English Fluency for my language learning niche, and also to, to buy something from me, to go straight to the course. But most of the time, we're going to be sending people to the first type of action where they'll be doing something for free, joining your email list, downloading a free PDF, um, signing up for a free video course, mini course, something like that. And the key to an effective landing page is to increase your conversion rate, to get a lot of people doing what you want them to do, to take the action you want them to take. Now, when I had my book, The Five Step Plan for English Fluency, and I first put it on my website as a landing page, I was getting around 20% conversions. But after tinkering a little bit and trying things out and using tip five, which we'll talk about later, I got this conversion rate up to over 40%. And this makes a huge difference when it comes to overall sales if everything else is equal. So an effective landing page is super important. Now, if you want to find software or use software that allows you to do this easily, then go to the description. I'll have two options for you. So you can check those out. Um, one is part of an email marketing software um, part of that whole package. And another one is standalone software, which I've been using for years now and just love. And again, tip five, it allows you to do that with the standalone software. So with all that in mind, let's talk about the five tips now. So tip one is to talk about benefits and not the features. Now this is general copywriting, marketing talk, you know, to talk about benefits instead of features, but specifically, to try and get this into the header of your landing page. So what you want to do, let's say if you have a free consultation, what you find people say is, oh, get a free consultation. It's free, it's free, it's free, a consultation. To talk about the features of what you're offering. Whereas if you say something like, with my free consultation, you'll have a much clearer understanding of how to move forward with your issue that really speaks to the person and it really highlights the benefit of taking that free consultation. Because what we're finding these days is that people are offering the same things, free PDFs, downloads, free mini courses, free consultations to get people in the door. But to try and stand out, talk about the benefits of doing that with you. Because most people just intuitively think, well, this is free, people want this, obviously it's free. But just think of all the times when you've landed on a page and it says, download this for free, and you just don't want to do it because you're giving your information away, or there's just some friction behind this. And that's what we're gonna talk about in step four. So definitely get the benefits across in the headline if you can, or the subheadline, um, if that doesn't really fit with what you're doing. It's really important that you do that so that people get excited about taking that initial action. Tip number two is not to make your landing page look corporate. And again, this is advice as well for your website in general. But if you use a stock photo in your on your landing page, then people just get turned off by that. They don't really make that connection with you or with the company that you are working for. So instead, think about how you can make it more personal. And there are two ways to do this mainly. The first way is to have a picture of yourself or something that really just shows your company or what you're offering. That's tip one. Tip two is to have a video on there. Now, a video can work because you make that connection with the person. 
where they can hear your voice and they can really just understand what you're offering. But a picture works just as well from my experience and from what I've tested in the past. And I think also not everyone wants to play a video when they land on a landing page, whereas a picture is just there it doesn't cost them any time and then they can go on and take further action. But definitely avoid like the the um, carousel and the, the different types of presentations that you might see on corporate websites where it's showing like a very polished stock photo of people in an office smiling maybe or sitting around a meeting room table. Avoid that kind of stuff and just get your personality across, especially if you are selling yourself as well as what you're offering. But just make sure that people can connect with the picture or the video that you're going to put on the landing page. Now, tip three is similar to tip one, but we're gonna use a copywriting technique here called AIDA, A-I-D-A. Attention, interest, desire, action. So attention, interest, desire, action. So when you are writing the copy, and it doesn't have to be long copy, to achieve this. Think about those things when you're doing this. So to get people's attention through the headline and subheadline, pique their interest through the copy or the picture that you have. Build the desire to take action and then make it easy for people to take action and tell them to take action. So let's say that you have this free consultation for whatever it may be. You can get their attention through a picture, through the headline. Then you can build the interest with what you're offering in the copy where you say many people struggle with this area and it's because of this reason and it's really bad if you're struggling with this issue but i can help okay that's got their interest you're telling them about their problems and then the desire is telling them that you can provide the solution to their problem so you can say with this simple free consultation we will solve your issue and talk about further uh, consultations in the future. And then the action part is just making sure that people can take action, which leads nicely into tip four, which is simple forms. So a simple way to sign up. I like the whole where there's a, a button on a landing page and people click on that button and then the form pops up. Now, this has been tested by many people and it's proven to be effective in terms of increasing conversion rate. And I think it's because you commit to clicking the button and once you've, you've done that, it's like a mini yes. And then you think, okay, I'm gonna complete this form now. But it's important to have a simple form for people to fill out. I think this is such a big barrier for people when it comes to filling out a landing page. And you can also think about crafting a landing page as trying to remove barriers, to remove anything that might be holding people back. Now, when I say a simple form, it's for me, it's name and email address. Keep it very simple. Once you start adding things like phone number, address, all those types of things. It just stops people from going ahead and filling the form out. Now, just think about the last time you went on a complicated form, when you were browsing Facebook, you clicked a link and they said, oh, get this this thing for free. And it's asking for your phone number and your address. You just think, no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna click off. Now, if you need those things, ask them for those things at a later time in the form, but make sure that you capture the name and email first. Keep it simple. And also around the form, I like to tell people what happens next. Click this button and then we'll send you the free PDF straight to your email inbox. So you're just really talking about, or you're really pushing that whole action part of the AIDA, attention, interest, desire, action, and having that, that explanation of what's gonna happen next means that people will actually take action. Now, tip five is to test things. Now, the software that I talked about in the description, there is the capability of doing A-B tests, and I love A-B testing things. That's how I took my conversion rate from 20% to 40%. And even though there are effective things and tips that I'm giving you for creating a landing page and just best practices, 
you don't really know what's going to work until you test it. And this is when I learned as well, having my face on the landing page made a big difference. So when I put my face with um, a picture of me basically pointing to my book, saying this is what you can download, it just did wonders for the landing page conversion rate. And again, you don't really know what's going to work until you test things. Now you can go really deep into this and like test button colors um, and that kind of thing. But I'd start with headlines, images, um, and text around, especially near the form when it's coming to people taking action. So definitely test things out. Again, you know, this is A-B testing, meaning that you test one variable at one at once instead of trying to test lots of different things. But yeah, A-B testing is really gonna show you what works. And what you're looking here for here is conversion rate. Okay, so those are five quick tips for a better landing page experience for you and your conversion rate. Again, we're gonna talk about features and not, sorry, talk about benefits and not just features. Don't make it look corporate. Use ADA, attention, interest, desire, action in your copy. Uh, use simple forms and tell people again why they should sign up just before they're about to click that button. And also A-B test things too. Now, if you want to learn more about landing pages and how this functions in email marketing and just content marketing in general, I do have a free mini course, which is all based on email marketing. You can take this over five days and it's free to take. So again, the link is in the description for that. And if you have any questions about this, then let me know below. All right. Thank you so much for listening and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.